Yeah, that's interesting. Like, how did he get in there? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's like, what a ringer. I mean, if you're yeah. going to bring someone to a place and it's going to change your entire lineup, you might as well bring on Bash. And we're going live. All right, going straight into it. Perfect timing. As um, if you're just joining us now, this is etf 2 l Sunshine Cup, powered uh, by ServeMe.tf. This is Reason Gaming versus Lethal Weapon uh, Grand Finals. Okay, uh, take us away, Mana. Yeah, we see some early spam from Death, but there's a scout on him, and uh, it looks like Reason have kind of a really defense position. Uh, but Sagichi goes down, he was a bit out of position, and the scout caught him. And this is looking incredibly bad for Reason. There we go. There's only Walters now. Yeah, this is kind of aggression done right so far coming out from Lethal Weapon. Maybe uh, they found the yeah. win winning formula to really pick they apart were... Reason's passive defense that's been you know, taking them to, the, to this grand final. Yeah, they were a little bit more patient, which is what they needed. You can't just rush in everyone and expect it to work. They, they actually picked apart the flank. And they're going to pop right in. Yeah, they pop right in, but they've got... Um, a happy call just like delaying them with this pyro play. Um, nah, but they've got uh, other players seeping in through the cracks, but it's doing a very good job of delaying all this time. They keep their medic alive during all of that, and yeah, they just Shai kind of defend. Down. Yeah, they kind of uh, defended with just the heals, really. Shayu kind of. Did he survive that? Or did he yeah, he, or did he, he left. He left a little. He left when he knew it was going bad. Uh, good call on his part. Just keep alive. I mean, they start still down a lot, but. But yeah, big work oh, by that Death pirate. Oh, picks Cadus with the Iron Bomber. Sweet Jesus. That, uh, I guess maybe he's not too familiar with that new weapon. If, uh, if you just if, uh, recently just watched TF2 and you don't know about this new weapon, it's pretty much exactly the same to the pipe launcher, except that the thing uh, the pipes don't roll about so much. Um, yeah, in response, Reason popped in, but they take apart lethal weapon pretty hard. There's only death, and I, I believe he's a respawn. Yeah. Oh, no, he, I, he must have left early and set up a trap. Yeah. Easy midpoint for a reason here. They've got a nice, healthy 50% advantage now, moving into second. Uh, but they're gonna do uh, an attempt at a defense here, uh, lethal weapon. As <laughs> I almost said, fucked by Jesus, uh, got launched in the air, but uh, atomic gets launched into the air. I'm going to stoop to your level atomic and record that for you like that. <laughs> so, uh, uh, easy second point as expected for reason now. They're just about getting their over advantage. Perfect timing for them to go straight into their last point now. Any second now. Got Skeege going they for that dungeon. Cool for they the, uh, yep, for they go through right? lower. They're, they're in at last. Uh, most yeah. of the players don't notice this from from Lethal Weapon here, but it's getting a bit scrambly. They're c trying to focus down the meta. They do take him out in the end, Shayu. And now they just need to kind of like clean up these last players, but no, it's just uh, the DM coming out from Lethal Weapon. Uh, oh my exchanging god. Out they his fight. Reason totally beefed that push. They should have had that. <laughs> Lethal Weapon are going to try and poke out, see if they can pick up two, maybe get a free pick here. Yeah, Death is really getting aggressive, but I think he's going to die here. He's very, very low. But he's... Oh, wow. Oh, actually, he's ACM's surviving. following up oh, and now scouting. He dies, but yeah. and now he's, making it, he's making it hard. Like, he's forcing a trade, and that's not bad. But uh, now, now um, Lethal Weapon are just kind of dropping now. So yeah, we're going to definitely see a push by Reason. Yeah, all, oh, all of the back yeah. of that, uh, that demo man being spammed back and there was a little flank going on. Now they make a push in with their player advantage straight into this last point. But uh, There's a heavy in on the point. Oh. But the, the soldiers are just way too much, just focusing pa uh, their fire on the same players, taking them out really quickly, kind of keeping this uh, player like advantage in their core and it's obviously netted them last. They had a huge positional advantage because they knew they were kind of stuck in the spawn area, so the soldiers just jumped there, and yeah. that's that's it. <laughs> like, what do you do? And plus, it was a good decision making as well, just knowing that yeah. uh, they don't need the U, but they've got uh, they know they can take this with just the player advantage alone and the buffs, so they go straight in. Again, reason uh, going with this passive play, just uh, maybe shifting about the big blob around the map, seeing uh, what works best, supporting which player is a bit low right there, moving towards him. They take out the first baited player, Forsaken. The next one jumps in, he gets taken out, uh, Atomic there. But Bash is doing a great amount of work with um, 
what little amount of space he has. He does take the down the soldiers to very, very low health, and both teams are just kind of like Ooh. staring at each other as they heal. Yeah, exactly. We have a jump in and he gets the fort. Yeah, when Monty gets taken out, and now the Uber gets exchanged out later by Skis, they've got a, a much bigger advantage. That's why they're playing aggressive off this now. Maybe they can pick off somebody here. They get a soldier. Soldier? Wait, no, scout, sorry. Scout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, like now it's just, med, yep. yeah, it's going straight into chaos now. But uh, both players are just t all the players are just taking the same like splash damage and just getting teared apart by the soldiers here from uh, lethal weapon now. And because oh, of that, he just, just trapped in. Yeah, he's gonna go down. Oh, he is he? Oh, oh, he's down. No, not anymore. But that was a pretty nutty play to stay alive like that. Yeah, I they guess... pick up the point though. Because reason are blobbing up, they're doing so well in that aspect. But because they're blobbing up too much, like too hard, that they're just taking the same splash damage and it just makes these really weird like shifts in in the momentum uh, from just like two people dropping to like the same rocket. Def gets caught out here by uh, AZM, very nice follow up from his team spam in that alleyway. Yeah, they, gotta, now, they gotta rotate somewhere else, they can't do this push anymore. Yeah, they have got the uber advantage, but those ubers aren't going to come into play for quite a bit now. They could even uh, just push off the fact they haven't got any demo. They've got no reason. These doorways aren't scary anymore with the demo man going down. And, uh, yeah, they get two picks. They get a follow up with a third. They got a second. Easy peasy. And Shayu is no, still nowhere near that uber. They just reason have to hold back really to good... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, Reason did a really good small rap play, and they picked up two more frags on top of that. So they're just going to roll this... Pretty comfortable player advantage. Oh, but they got the spun. Lethal Weapon got the spun, so they're gonna probably cancel this push. Yeah. Yep. They lose half equal on that, and they've got the Uber um, advantage, even though it's very, very minor at this point now. Not, I don't think any team's gonna really push off that, especially where Reason in the position right now. Maybe they'll bring off an off class uh, for half equal, whilst uh, yeah, and yep, yeah, it comes back as the sniper. Comes the sniper, yeah. What is sniper pick. like on these last few points than mana? Um. It's pretty interesting, it, even though it's a big map and there's a decent amount of open space, it's not quite as good for snipers as you might imagine. But uh, there's there's a lot of like really tricky sightlines, I would say. And if you play ballsy, you can get rewarded with a good sightline. Um, Reason kind of have to take over this lobby for that to happen. And uh, we'll see if they can get in without getting destroyed. Uh, which, which side is easy to push, uh, get that sideline on? Is it better to like sneak him on Definitely that? the left side. Definitely the left side. From the attacking perspective, yeah? Yes, for the attacker perspective, yeah. Is right, the, just the too right ballsy, side, just too close it's, for comfort. You, if you, you see the little line on the right side, yep. you pass that line, you're pretty much dead if anyone's watching. Yeah. If, it's an incredibly high risk play if you're a sniper. But then again, uh, look at where the position right now, um, Shai yeah, and his team. Yeah, they left. So maybe right oh, side isn't so scary, but yeah, well, they've got the pick on the heavy. They go yeah. straight in with this. They force shy you. They know he was there. They kind of get like a. Actually, no, they get a better exchange off of this. Reason do, and they could almost just about even Ubers. They go uh, barreling straight back in. They've got the player advantage. They just need to focus down the right targets. Happy Call makes that easy by taking out the demo man death, and now it's five v three, five v two, five v one. Can Monty do it? No, he cannot. <laughs> That was a really solid play from Reason. Happy Cole making it easy for his team there. It seemed kind of like, mm, he's going to go either yeah. way, and then, like a bolt of light. He got, he, he got the opening pick, they pushed in, he got another pick, and yeah, it just, it just yeah. kept going from there. Serving the free course meal there, the opening, the middle, and the ending. <laughs> Alright. Another round, another mid. It's two points going in strong of Reason. This is very deja vu. And uh, they're still sticking with this passive play, even though it went disastrous in uh, the first round. But it just shows how much confidence Reason has in this way of playing. And look, they just got very coordinated spam just taking out these players now. And just picking off any sort of stragglers. But then again, uh, some picks like weasel their way in there now with Happy Call going down. AZM oh, kind of making a, a kind of crappy jump and getting followed up. Monty's going aggressive onto Cadus here. Oh, he does actually hit Monty, but... Um, you know, Monty just hug, hugged Cadus, uh, kind of making him choose that he has to take his own life. There's no He's gonna good go exchange. For a flank all the way around to spawn. He's but they see, to his they scout, see this though. coming, Happy Cool, and yeah. he takes him out. Very nice call, whoever made that uh, about the scout flanking around. 
So they retain their full over advantage, uh, reason do. So they can probably use this now to push straight into mid. If they're really slick, they can just uh, push in with the player's advantage and just overpower a uh, lethal weapon and get the midpoint for three. Uh, and then pick onto the Devon Man, definitely held from Happy Call. But I think that's more Death being caught out in a very poor position there. Yeah. I it, I think he's a little unfamiliar with the map. Yeah, these sidelines, man. Uh, the scouts can go under, over, weave in, out, the, the Minotaur, like you said. Like, even Monty's directly behind the medic right now. He could have maybe uh, gone for it if, if it wasn't scared of uh, Walters there. <laughs> so, again, now recent uh, overpowering. I'm getting a pause? This is a pause? I believe this is a pause. Okay. If we're getting it at the same time, yeah. Pretty sure. Alright, so... As we find uh, out news about what's going on in the server, let's have a look at the how things are going so far. It's 90 minutes mark left in the uh, on the map. You got Reason with a very healthy 2-0 score above lethal weapon. I'd say uh, about 70% of the the decisions they're making are correct. Maybe even yeah. more actually, 80%. Uh, Hafiko is playing well. I mean, they're playing a very yeah, Hafiko is playing really solidly. I would say. And that, that sniper, the, the sniper uh, off class last push was yeah. spot on. He, I, he hit the shots that mattered. Yeah, well, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was like needed, it was just kind of, it was like the quick, the, the cutting corner sniper, where it was just like, we know we're going to win this push, but I'm going to make it easier. Douche, douche, yeah, douche. Yeah, exactly. It really secured the push. But I think uh, the greatest player reason is uh, death. Death is really making it easy <laughs> for uh, for reason just to kind of take these easy points. He just gets like picked off by a scout or poor positioning yeah. or during these fights. And you know, Devonman's an important class in this game. Mana, you, yeah. you need him. Death, the uh, unspoken MVP of reason. The secret seventh player, the spy, the true spy within the ranks <laughs> of. Uh, Lethal weapon. Uh, probably more regarded for his DM def is than his uh, I'd say his decision making. But uh, hopefully, sh I heard Shai is a very very strong caller though, and uh, maybe having him tethered to his m medic and making all the decisions for him can make that easier on him. But uh, I don't know. I, it still comes down to death in the way you can't. I think if he starts to clean up his act into this, uh, this after this pause, then I think this game can like turn on its head. Yeah. Do Do we know why this pause is happening? By the way, do we have any news on that? Uh, nobody wants to talk to me on Steam. That's <laughs> right. Is, is, is it a tactical ips pause? Yes, of course. Um, oh, uh, I got word from Ari that Death asked for a pause and didn't say why. Huh. Oh man. So I might be right. It's a it's a tactical pause. <laughs> yeah, de de Death is clearly uh, it's just gone to flicked on the ESA uh, match now. Just a quick check on how how the Americans do. Maybe get a few pointers. <laughs> it's like okay, all right, okay. And I've got word that we'll be live very shortly. Yep. All right. There yep. Oh, yeah. I see uh, some. Okay. Okay. We launched it straight back into it. Uh, sorry if the hoods are a bit broken right now. Uh, an unfavorable bug of TF2. Uh, I think the just weapon push out because they had a huge Uber advantage. They gotta pick up Skeed right now. Yep, they get him. Yep. They gotta get this cap. And yeah, this is looking really good. I guess uh, sure they muscled the way all about into that second point. Reason did, but they forgot about the Uber. Uh, Walters went all the way back, but um, he missed the cap unfortunately, so he just picks up. Atomic. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they're just trying to sack, ransack everybody and shy you in, but he's just got this huge meat wall in the shape of his team, like taking Asian all the actually, of the damage. He he had a pretty good um, he had a pretty good bead on the medic, but yeah, yeah. I think I think one rocket but, got like completely absorbed yeah, by someone. <laughs> but it's that's when the meat wall gets activated, though. It's just yeah. like oh, the rocket's coming from there. <laughs> Forsaken and, gets just jumps in and maneuvers around and picks Skeege. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Like, 
you'd think they would move in from the cafe area, kind of go into like the long way where they can kind of take the time and use the the heal advantage as well as the Uber in a way and just obviously take the time with the second point. But no, he kind of goes to this really aggressive push from a choke. I'd say it's a very easy area to get forced from. But uh, it's still hard to deny that medic advantage and they do win second in the end. And they still have a full full Uber advantage. So, uh, but time is wasting. They've still got that Uber. They need to you can use it or lose it. And at uh, the rate that they're going, uh, let's see what Skeej is on. I have oh, to like manually look. Alright, they pop in from lower. Oh, but that Pyro is in such a good position. It's so difficult yeah. to shoot rockets up at him. Then you've got all these players like being shunted. Like shunted even uh, by this uh, air blast. It's very disorientating, and it just it's killed the Uber completely by himself. Yeah, wow. Didn't even die. Pyro, ladies and gentlemen. That was a monster pyro play. He read where they were gonna push, and he just he literally just like denied them from going up the ramp at all. Well, what do you think of crazy. pyro on this map? Do you think it's uh, good or usually good or you know insane in that sort of instance? Like, does it deny like certain pathways altogether? Like I've just oh, seen. Yeah, I mean, it very obviously denied that lower pathway. It's, it, uh, I'd say it's like similar uh, process where if you can get the re oh, there's a huge yeah, rat play yeah, coming. Yeah, rat play. Good. Um, they just wrap around. They Ubered straight in for onto second reason did, but I didn't want to do you. It sounds so interesting. And I thought oh, they might fail this at the end, but no, they actually have to go back now with the. They're still fighting. Yeah, and they're the, gonna win the this fight. It works. Yeah, they just wow. wrapped around from that right hand side as a uh, reason came in from the left hand side, and then Captain just went, "Oh God, my team!" And when he came back, everything, everything was just destroyed. His families were lost. <laughs> reason and, getting out wraps using. They just got their own strat used on them. Yeah, Cadus uh, opting still for this choke rollout. Everyone is going from alleyway. This is a unique rollout coming out from death. I've never seen that before. American games, European games. It's uh, even yeah, from it's, just... It gets pulled out every so often. Oh, we have a, we have a good trade with both scouts. And the uh, sprats are still pretty even. Yeah, I'm just kind of watching it unfold. It's just very, very passive play until we see someone kind of dedicate themselves. No one just dare inches uh, up, really. Sure, uh, lethal weapon are getting cap time. And Reason, oh, the drop! Yeah, the out. drop. Skeech. I was about to say. Oh, Kate get the, gets the force, but it's a free Uber. Yeah, so. But regardless. Uh, yeah, Reason were kind of stuck behind the. Uh, the hut or the shed. I'm, I forget that, what we call this, but that seemed like kind just, of stuck there. And yeah, it seemed like just sheer determination fight. from Skeed saying like, "I do not want to give up yeah. this Uber." So he would rather drop it than use it. Isn't I isn't, know, the, isn't a thing to call it a classic Skeed Uber oh. or classic Skeed Skeed drop? Isn't that didn't, didn't he used to be known for that? I know Skeed, I know this, Skeed wasn't I too know. much on my radar at the time. Okay. He was. Still fairly new. I think the hot thing right back then was all about uh, the sucker. The... Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Like Skeej played in the Cadis team before, but I feel like there was like other just there were just so much other things going on that season. You couldn't uh, quite keep track of Skeej's antics. Oh, they the weapon gonna. It looks like they're gonna try. And... Oh, they're still deciding to push, but they're gonna go in. Oh, death. Pretty caught out here, but... maybe. Yeah, it gets oh, taken out by no. AZN. Kind of just. Again, goes past that line you were talking about. Yeah, you don't do it unless you know there's no one there. Like, it's just, it's too dangerous. Yeah. AZN now has just crowned that area and is like, this is my death zone, and if you dare. And so they force out an Uber into the lobby now from the wraparound from AZN. And, Kay and Kay now the Kay Kay is going to follow casual up with pop, this. And he's going to just get the frag on this med, look at that. Easiest frag of his life. Yeah. And now he just goes back to his lobby, go back to his team, you know, check, check if it's okay. Make sure they didn't leave the lights on, and now they're going to push out now. But uh, one soldier in coming in. Yeah, that's Atomic. Left, Atomic in yeah. the lobby. He, he shows up on the uh, left hand side, but then switches over to the right. Only to get, uh, meets up with Kados, who kills him out. But yeah, easy point for. Oh wait, there's still some action going out on last. That's uh, Forsaken. See, trying to make something happen, but very, very. Uh, Tough fight for him, fighting against like three players and plus uh, the rest of Reason just capping out. Yeah. 
So now he's just uh, put his team quite in a hell of a pickle now because they've got no uh, soldier to force this really. Uh, with Forsaken going down now, and you don't really want to trade away that pocket because um, they might just uh, possibly just use the Uber now and like roll them over once they get it. And they get Kadis K K finds a scout that's out of position, and um, yeah, they're going to get this this mid for free. Not great, but it, at least it's pretty close to even right now. So you see, you see the confidence just radiating off of Cadus, knowing that he can make these jumps and knowing uh, he can get something out of these. While most demo men will just play it safe and just stay with the medics, stay with the team. But Cadus just knows how much to fight off. Moving ready, with the force. He's not even getting focused now. Now they just use <laughs> like, and now he's just uh, seeing if he can pick up any sort of plays. He's actually focusing the medic, which yeah. I, I'd rather focus. Yeah, he gets the med. I'd still rather focus the classes with guns right now, but I guess the rest of his oh, team yeah. is doing that job for him. Death is trying to lay a trap onto the shutter door, but nobody's going to fall for that. It's the oldest trick in the book. Cadis is just They're all sitting right on the right side. side. They yeah, they know it's weak. It's going to be Both a really tall order. Weapon. But the respawns, they, they come. The arm. Here's the heavy. Oh, oh immediately. Uh, no, they're getting shut down. This is not happening. <laughs> yeah. Kayla's going to last. He slapped Sticky straight onto that spawn point. So the number one uh, defense for a uh, lethal weapon was just taken out of order. Another round four reason. Put in that comfort zone again. A nice healthy 2 0 lead. Kayla's making a very nice kind of uh, slide roll You can tell he has a huge Im influence on this match. Yeah, but he got, he got put down very low at the start of that mid there. Maybe all these. Heels being channeled into Cadus can kind of play negative on to his team there, but they're still remaining quite healthy. They're kind of like just like slowly claiming buildings one by one. It's like, okay, we'll oh, take yeah. this building and then we'll move up to this building and kind of using them as it's like mini control points within the control point. Yeah, at that time they had a lot better positional, um, they, they had a lot more ground over Lethal Weapon. Yeah. Lethal Weapon didn't really capitalize on countering that. Now we have this situation right now. The Tommy yeah. goes down too. Ooh, yeah, AZN gets nice. Uh, gets air shotted by uh, Forsaken there, but it's all for naught. They've got their own Uber, but they just slap out now to kind of confirm this. Oh, but in saying that, all this scrappy play going off in alley by the scouts here. They pick up another kill, Bat, showing his epsilon muscle. Uh, but Kados showing off his his I don't know his Kados. Kados team muscle. Wow! Yes. Oh my God, the pipes they are real. Oh man, Kadis fight. That this was not very strange. I just and saw he's a still scout. in the fight. He's jumping he's aggressive. Pick... Yeah. Jesus. He wants to get. He wants to get. He the, the medic. He, he links die. up with his um, his soldier AZN to take him I out. I swear to God, if he gets another kill, I s I don't know, man. Where are they getting all this health from? Finally, they go down. <laughs> it's who has the health to kill like three players and then make a jump onto the medic? It's and you don't it's get nice. healed during all of that. Must have not, not a single shot must have hit him. He's very good at giving this slip. All right, so uh, the dust has settled, I think. Oh, and saying yeah. that, the AZN is behind. Okay, right, the dust has now settled. Now it's actually settled. Yeah. Uh, we've got Skeege building up a nice, healthy forty percent advantage. Shayu just started building right now. Uh, I, reason they're might not, not aware. Yeah, Reason might not be aware of this because you would assume that it would be very efficient yeah. in this sort of level. Uh, yeah. But the Mets not even weapon, right now. Okay, there weapon we go. just like trying to force the way in there, seeing that uh, Reason is yeah. just giving them way too much ground. Or maybe that's what they just want them to think. Nah, maybe the, the strike will go against them. AZN does take out Bash though, that's a big player, the Lethal Weapon, who's been doing a lot of lifting for them. The Uber comes out now, and I guess they kind of realize this. They just take out the entire team. Even death, uh, kind of uh, <laughs> the marking on that. I'm not sure if it's like Forsaken. DM. Just does, does the escape plan time around the corner, hoping he can get someone with it. That's actually kind of clever, but it doesn't get anyone. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very ambitious, but go hard or go home at this point, I suppose. When you, uh, Case just jumps into spawn and he just sticks it. I mean, he gets picked by Monty, but. Oh. Very but, interesting. No, but his entire team is like struggling now because they've all just, they've just oh, released boy. the floodgates. But in saying yeah. that, they can't. They, I guess they, they just can out. coordinate between the point and focusing players. I think uh, Lethal Weapon were trying to go fast and loose on that round, and it just it did not play out. That it just didn't play out at all.
Yeah, they didn't really have a reason. Mm. Uh, <laughs> they didn't have. I don't know why they like just pushed straight in. I guess they could have like. They they knew that they were down by the Uber, but maybe they uh, they didn't know that reason didn't know that they were down on Uber. So they could have just like played it out from that and went stalemate. It was like a big risk, kind of just pushing without Uber. And again, the passive play coming out from reason is just strong arming this. There's just no. Uh, way to just stop this, it seems. I imagine up. that um, time is probably wearing down on them because there's approximately eight minutes left, and you know yeah. they have to get four rounds if they want to win. Three to force the golden cap, of course. Yeah, if you're feeling this pitch play. Yeah, if you're feeling wow. um, if you're in uh, lethal weapon shoes right now, you would feel the uh, the strong pinch, like the uh, you can't really breathe in this sort of room here. It's just very suffocating. Is where you just start to slow. It just happens slowly. You just know it's happening. You start to panic. Five one. But uh, I guess it's just like sink or swim at this point. See how they handle under the pressure. Some teams handle it very well. Sometimes they need this pressure to kind of really cook it, kick it into a whole new knot. But if they need that knot, if they have that notch, they need to find it right now. It is going really close to the point. He, he was on the point for a little bit to get throw some stickies, but uh, he's really confident. You can definitely yeah, The jump in coming in from um, by Atomic there, he survives uh, from that jump, which is very nice. But actually, Walters chases him into the family. Jesus Christ, Walters. And uh, <laughs> now it's just, uh, again, picking off all the stragglers that are just how they dare attack Screech, Screech, Screech on this midpoint. After just losing just a bit one player, it's like if you lose one player right at the start, and they're playing this passively, it's just it's done. This middle is not going your way, let alone the medic. Walters is wow, playing out of his mind. He takes out the soldier on the last point. Actually, dies to the sniper, which is a bit weird. And now they just follow up with this Uber. It's looking smooth sails for reason right now. They just need to gather up onto this point. There's yep, nobody left to defend. Real. The rage quit coming GG. out from. Uh, this is important. We need to find that person that left first before it's <laughs> finished. Ah, oh, okay. I guess I won't find him. You, you win this round, Russians. <laughs> All right, that is a wrap. That is the grand finals. This has been CP Sunshine in ETF 2 l Sunshine Cup, uh, powered by server serve me .tf. And now, by Mana, our own, let's by look our own Ari. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So, uh, you know, logs aside, let's use our guts for a second here and just can you pinpoint a reason <laughs> uh, whilst why uh, lethal weapon lost it? Um, I think a decent amount of it was death being kind of out of position a little bit. That kind of lost a couple pushes, I guess. And but I think overall, like I, I don't think I don't think that's the main reason. I, I the biggest reason by far I saw was that they would stay in way too long after they they lost the fight a lot of the time, and they would just get rolled from there. I I think it all started from the midpoint. They just there wasn't just no way to deal with that. And once it was a very uphill battle past that. I know it's always going to be like that with TF2. If you win the midpoint, it's always going to be difficult for the losers. But yeah. uh, just more so, reasons seem to be very strict, very organized, uh, very clean TF2 coming yes, out from I reason. Definitely agree with that. They they had a strategy session and they figured out the right synergy plans, and um, their mids were solid. They really were, and they very rarely lost like too many players or that many players, and each stayed up a lot of them. I mean, now I guess now we can look at the stats. Skeege had 8 deaths compared to Shayu's 14. And he had oh, 18 man. assists. Shayu had 5. So there's definitely some kind of huge disconnect going on with Shayu. Yeah. But at the same time, it's really difficult um, to stop these disconnects when you've got these very confident cadres like peacocking his way into the second with these huge, obnoxious jumps and just putting a crowbar between his medic and his demo man pocket, whatever, and then just forcing a chaos fight. 
yeah, he made huge plays, absolutely. And um, Walters was just running around and picking off things, being unexpected. He, he had a good game. And we can see from the logs again, soldiers, the reason soldiers are doing, are like in the top three. It's, the top three is all reason. Yeah, and you need to keep in mind, this is reason missing a player, a person that they've been playing with, training with, for weeks now. If you think this is scary, what are they like with Zoo? Who's apparently yeah. like, supposed to be this, the brightest star on that team, at least uh, yeah. in some people's opinion. So looking good. Yeah, it's gonna be a. I, it's gonna be an interesting season of ETF two L for sure. But yeah, uh, very well played, reason. Congratulations. Maybe we can get get the get them in for an interview, so they can prance, boast. Yeah, maybe sure. tell us uh, what's in store for the future. You can get see them. Can, that'd uh, be cool. Yeah, see if we can work on that right now. But yeah, um, maybe we can even get lethal some members of Lethal Weapon in here, kind of justify oh, yeah. their actions. That'd be fun. They, yeah. Honestly, this game was closer than the scoreline showed, for sure. Looking at the time that it yeah. lasts for this game, it's 26 minutes, 29 seconds. That's actually relatively long. Yeah, it was like, it was like a python versus a gorilla. It was, it's a very powerful matchup, it's just one had a slight <laughs> edge and it's just slowly suffocating the other one out. Yeah, that's that's an analogy. Yeah, that was a more of a reach, I know, compared to the others. <laughs> As I message them now, see if they come flocking to my uh, to my beck and call. I'll give it about maybe a minute or so. Yeah, definitely. Uh, lethal weapon denying. Uh, an interview. <laughs> really? Perhaps I shouldn't say that, but you know, the truth has to go out there. Yeah, it'll so, get uh, out that's, one way that's fine. I, I'd be, I'd be, um, I'd be down in the dumps as well. Yeah. Although he does, he has given me some little tippets about the game. He did say uh, we paused mid-game so I could uh, meet, go meet a delivery person outside. <laughs> so, uh, lethal weapon treating this maybe this tournament with as much respect as as a PCW night or a casual game of I don't know Peggle. Yeah, it, was, it probably was a little bit more casual because I imagine a decent amount of these teams were probably in it to um, get a get a feel for the map and not really the result. You know, is kind of secondary to that mm -hmm. in this cup. All right. Um, yeah, I got the Cadus, the, the big KK, the man that everyone is talking about right now and talking about yeah. his team. Uh, we'll, uh, see if we can shoot him some questions. I hope you've got some uh, some doozies ready for him, Manor. Uh, yeah, I got, I've got some stuff. Uh, that's good. See if we can get him in. There. I bet you know what I I thought about this a little bit more, and I think the Oh, I guess we're about to get the interviewer, so I'll, I'll, it'll be tied into a question, don't worry. Um, do you have mumble powers? I have told them the access code. Okay, cool. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we're here, we're here, son. Welcome. Well, hello, it's a pleasure to be okay. here. Alright, we'll just, yeah. uh, we'll wait on your... Your partner Skeege. I'm sure he has many words to say as well. I just want to miss out on this. I <laughs> know Skeege lives for these occasions. He told me he had the info. But he's he he's sitting in Mumble, he's just not in this channel yet. Oh, what an amateur. There we go. You what? Alright. <laughs> You're an amateur, Skeege. Oh, okay. Okay. First off, guys, congratulations. You've won the Sunshine Cup. How do you feel? Sunny. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Light hearted. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I guess um, 
the whole point of the tournament was kind of test test out Sunshine and uh, see how it played, how what people thought of it, maybe get an objective view for the admins. But uh, what did you guys think of it? Uh, I enjoyed playing the map. Um, I don't think the uh, the games we played were probably the best though, for judging it because. Like, I don't know, for some reason, even, like, BK and stuff didn't really give us much of a close game. Like, yeah. the final that you just casted was, like, by far the closest game we played. Yeah, uh, I feel like that's so, us, too. So, yeah, thought, it was a bit, like, a bit weird. I thought we came into this game cold. We, the, the first time we played Sunshine was the first round of this cup, but it seemed like other teams didn't play much more. Oh, oh wow. wow. So, you guys didn't have any preparation before this cup? Yeah, but I, I, I'm assuming it's the same for the other teams. Yeah. Wow, yeah, okay, that's we, we got that impression. Yeah, like we played it on Thursday in the cup, and I think we did, to be fair, we did play BK in like a scrim while we, while we were waiting for other cup games to happen on Thursday, yeah. but like that's, that's really it. Like this was kind of our first impression of this cup. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I have a question for you, Cadis. Uh, with the recent sticky nerf, like the, the one that's actually with the fixed fall off damage, uh, what, do you, what do you think of that, and then what do you think of that on this map? Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a huge fan of the way they they did it. I mean, it's probably a fair way to balance the game, but um, I feel like it kind of steals a bit of the fun aspects of Demo Man that could have probably been fixed. Like you could fix it without kind of removing these kind of features. But uh, I don't know. On this map, it's hard to say. Like it felt fine on this map. Like like long range stickies. I don't know, it's kind of weird at the moment, because everyone's kind of, no one quite knows where to be on the mid, so you kind of, you shoot a long range sticky, and at the moment, you're actually hitting multiple targets, like, even with the reduced radius, just because, like, people aren't really sure where to go, so they just kind of freeze and in place, and they clump up together, so I felt like in these games, like, the demo nerf wasn't really a, an issue at all, because everyone was just clumping so much, but, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, these mids, in the games that we were watching, they seemed very patient coming out from your side. The things was this the plan all along, or was this just uh, oh this seems to be working, or did it just kind of unfold without you even noticing? Well, pretty much like before we started the cup, like the one thing I said like that we talked about was like you know the roofs above cafe on mid. Mm -hmm. uh, like I played one like a few mixes, and I noticed whenever we tried to push like to our right side and go over there, we'd always like if a soldier jumped the roof above us, we kind of got stuck there, and then we'd get kind of sandwiched. So like, the only thing I said was, if we want to go forward, like go forward on left. And if we're not going forward on left, then we'd have to like just focus right a bit passive. But I think like I don't know, we weren't particularly aggressive, but like it was kind of just a case we weren't really sure what to do, so we just kind of got to mid and saw what was happening. And like I that, think it was also the fact that they they had such early aggression that we didn't even didn't really have a choice anymore. We just like, take care of the early aggression. Yeah, and there yeah. were there were some mids where. We should have been a bit more aggro, like there was these kind of yeah. like 4v4 situations, like both teams got two picks and we were kind of like, I felt like we had, in some situations, we could have been more aggressive in these situations, but uh, we just kind of didn't really have the confidence of the map to go forward, but it was just like one or two occasions. Alright, so this is the, uh, I'd say the first official showing of this uh, new team uh, reason. Uh... How is it going so far? Is it quite? Is there a lot more to show than this? Is this team got a lot more potential than it's showing right now? Or um, I don't know. We we five would last <laughs> last year's last season's uh, runners up. So I think we're showing like <laughs> we're giving like a good impression of ourselves at the moment. I think. I mean, obviously it's really messy on Sunshine because no one knows what the hell they're doing. But um, I don't know. Will I be rose to the challenge? Like the results in this cup. Uh, uh, kind of mirrored in our PCWs and other maps, like not not as consistent, but like we get five overs against BK sometimes, and we lose we lose some maps, we win some maps. So I don't know, it's going it's going good, and like we have a lot of room to grow. I think. I mean, today we were playing with Asian instead of Zub because Zub has Highlander, but um, I don't know. I feel like really confident across the board with everyone. How do you Whoa. think he played? Asian, he was great. Like I've we like we took him as backup because like yeah. Because there's no wildcards this season, so we decided to get quite a lot of backups and this kind of stuff. Okay. And today, today was the first time we played with him, and he was just great. Like, oh wow! I didn't see too much of what he did. Like, I've never played with him in any format before. Like, not even in even not, blah, not even in a mix. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Some uh, Russians are requesting his demos now, so he must, <laughs> must play pretty good. 
just tell just send him a link to his his uh his YouTube channel. He has a couple like really impressive frag clips. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in them <laughs> getting double air piped. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get like double air piped twice in one of them. Yeah, speaking of uh Azian then, would you say uh the absence of Zub really hurt you or would you say they're both on par with each other or does Zub have a lot more to offer? There was uh, a problem in the ready up phase. Oh yeah, Zub's our ready upper. We can't ready up without him. But Adam did he did more than more than well in that regard. Uh, I'm not sure, like I kind of He plays a little bit different to Zub and I think one thing that we lack when Zub isn't playing is we kind of get a lot more like he gives us a picture of what's happening on the flank. Whereas obviously it's, I'm not gonna make a judgment of Azian, but it's our first night playing with him, so he was maybe yeah, maybe not feeling confident to kind of give us orders or tell us what's going yeah. on there. But Did, like, didn't Zub feel was... like it was his place. Yeah, like he was playing really well, that's for sure. But uh, like Zub will tell us, like Zub will break my heart with his comms, like really upset that he's alone on the flank and this kind of thing. And uh, that's something that obviously yeah, Ashton is just kind of he's just going to play because he doesn't really know what we want to do or how we're trying to play because it's like the first time we played with him. So I guess we kind of missed out from Zub, but I mean the results were pretty good still. All right, I've got a question for Skeez. Skeez. This is your return to Medic after how many seasons now? Maybe one, well, two? Only one. I Just played only one. Soldier one se- for one season, yeah. Yeah, and you, you seem... You've made a really strong performance so far, just being that backbone, I feel like, of just surviving, in, especially in contrast with uh, other Medics on other teams. Uh, I think... It, are you feeling good with your Medic? Are you feeling like the top of your stride, or you've just hit a new wave? Uh, actually, I, I really felt like I had to get back into it because I was playing Romer, and it's basically the opposite uh, uh, together with Scout. So uh, I had to get back, but but you know, playing Romer, playing a different class, like I'm mono skilled, uh, mono class medic, my whole fucking TF2 uh, life. So it's good to play another class and learn uh, the game from a different perspective. Like you do that in mixes and pickups, but doing it for a proper season in a in a decent division. Uh, learns you a lot, so that's good. But I, I don't think I'm. Yeah, you, the way you said I played now, now you, how you see me play now is also how I always play medic. So yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm out of questions. I'm not sure about you, Mana. Uh, yeah, I'm satisfied with what I've been asked or what what I asked rather. Okay. Got any shout outs for us, lad? Mm, shout out to Yuppe. Best gamer EU world even. That's it for me. Shout out to the boys, whoever they may be. <laughs> My dead homies. Shout out to Zoop, win that Highlander game, boy. Bring home the gold or the silver, or whatever it is tonight. Yep. All right. I I will give a shout out to Lethal Weapon who politely declined an interview. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Shadowburn. And uh, obviously, shout out to everybody watching as well. You're the reason why we do these. And an extra shout out for you watching, because I'm a bit rusty at this. So sorry if it was a bit rubbish, but... And obviously, shout out to uh, Mano and Ari joining me. Yeah, big Shout out Ari for giving us a server. Exactly. I mean, that Yes, like... tri- triple shout out for Ari. Yeah. Providing the prize pool for this cup too, even. Sick. The lad is just taking TF2 on his shoulders, carrying it. Alright, I think that, unless you've got any shoutouts, Mana? Uh, shoutouts to America. <laughs> um, Patriotic. <laughs> for for reals, uh, shoutouts to um, the TFTV NA production crew. They're hardworking guys, and, you know, we have fun. And uh, shout out to you guys too. It's a lot of fun to watch these games, hang out with you guys. Oh, you stop it. Okay, <laughs> if that that wraps everything about up, this has been uh, C- the CP Sunshine coverage for ETF2L Sunshine Cup, powered by ServeMe.tf. Yeah, that is everything. See, see you later.